Hi, Javelinas. This is Miss Julie's son, Will. When I was your age, I used to be a Javelina too. Now I'm a junior in high school. My mom thought it'd be a good idea if I read this book to you, because when I was a Javelina, this was my favorite book. This is The Wolf's Chicken Stew. There once lived a wolf who loved to eat more than anything else in the world. As soon as he finished one meal, he began to think of the next. One day, the wolf got a terrible craving for chicken stew. All day long, he walked across the forest in search of a delicious chicken. Finally, he spotted one. Ah, she is just perfect for my stew, he thought. The wolf crept closer, but just as he was about to grab his prey, he had another idea. If there were just some way to fatten this bird a little more, he thought, there would be all the more stew for me. So, the wolf ran home to his kitchen and he began to cook. First, he made a hundred scrumptious pancakes. Then, late at night, he left them on the chicken's porch. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. The next night, he brought a hundred scrumptious donuts. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. On the next night, he brought a scrumptious cake weighing a hundred pounds. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. At last, all was ready. This was the night he had been waiting for. He put a large stew pot on the fire and set out joyfully to find his dinner. That chicken must be as fat as a balloon by now, he thought. Let's see. But as he peeked into the chicken's house, the door opened suddenly and the chicken screeched, Oh, so it was you, Mr. Wolf. Children, children, look. The pancake and the donuts and that scrumptious cake. They weren't from Santa Claus. Those were all presents. All those presents were from Uncle Wolf. The baby chicks jumped all over the wolf and gave him a hundred kisses. Oh, thank you, Uncle Wolf. You're the best cook in the world. Uncle Wolf didn't have chicken stew that night, but Miss Chicken fixed him a nice dinner anyway. Ah, shucks, he thought as he walked home. Maybe tomorrow I'll bake the little critters a hundred scrumptious cookies. The end. Hi, Havelinas and all my Pinnacle Peak friends. I hope you enjoyed this book that Will read. If you have baked or cooked any scrumptious meals, send us pictures so we can see them too. Enjoy!